Welcome to Inside of the Pleasure Studio podcast, where we strip down truths and bear it all as we get real about all things sex, intimacy and relationships with oneself, another and the world around us. Lovers, hello and welcome to the Pleasure Studio. I'm Melissa Louise, your absolute pleasure advocate, erotic blueprint, sex, intimacy and relationship coach. And in this space, I'm going to be sharing with you why it is so important to understand how sex and intimacy is the cornerstone of our wealth, of our health, and our well being. We live in a current culture that has us raising ourselves, raising our families, working, living, and existing in a trauma based existence by the mere fact that most of our time is spent in cortisol-based activities, cortisol-based beliefs, cortisol-based ways of living is such an assault on our health. And the dogma and the bullying aspect that has us not understanding how pleasure works in our body, how important understanding sex sexual pleasure pleasure (laughs) and the way that pleasure works in our individual bodies keeps us separate for what we're all basically working towards the reason that you're in relationship with another person is to have sex with them otherwise you would stay in your community you would grow business with groups of people you would gather your tribe together women would have all of these women would all live in one house would one sort of you know, uh, what could we call it? Like a whole collection of houses, a huge apartment building together. Same thing was men, same thing was men. You know, this is how communities used to live in family, in family culture. Yet when we look at the work that we decide to do, when we look at the clothes that we decide to wear, the cars that we want to drive, all of those things, it's so that we can attract a mate. And this mate is so that we can have sex with them. And yet What is generally the truth is that people are very uncomfortable talking about sex. People are very uncomfortable about understanding how orgasm and pleasure works in their body and very uncomfortable asking their partner what they want or need. We have attached all of these stories to sex and to orgasm. So we have become very... um, We have sort of cornered ourselves into these corners around what sex is, which is basically P and V, penis and vagina. So we have minimalized the act of sex, and yet we have placed so much importance on sex, which is around our safety. So when we look at family construct, when we look at, you know, a man and a woman or two women or two men living in a house raising children, it is in isolation, we have this punishment construct set up. So two people need to live together. They need to cohabitate and work and build business and just support one another to raise this family. Now, when we look at where we come from, this is not how children are meant to be raised. And so what we used to get from a whole community, what we used to get from the extended family, what we used to get from a tribe, all of our needs met as far as our shelter, our food, our children being uh, looked after, our safety was provided by many people, not just the person that we have intercourse with. So now we've placed all of this pressure onto this one person. And with that, we have also been bullied into staying silent about sex. So we have placed all of our safety and all of our needs onto one person, yet the reason we're with them is to have sex, and yet we don't talk about sex. So this is what I'm here for. This is why I'm so passionate. Our birthright to understand pleasure, our birthright to have really great, nourishing sex for our bodies, for our brains, for our organs, to create wealth in our life. And wealth is not just money, to create 
really good friendships, to be creating community that, you know, looks after ourselves, that is wealth, to have the homes that we truly desire to raise our children in arenas that we so deeply desire. This all comes from sex, and yet we are bullied into staying silent about it. We have many religions that have taken over the control of the female body, the female experience, and taken over the control of men's bodies and men's experiences as well. So that is what I'm so passionate about. And this is what all of this is about. So welcome to my space. And each week I'm going to be doing a video on explaining many different things and the invitation to, to truly understand why it's so important and how to have a lot better sex with yourself and with another. The invitations, the extension of invitation, the understanding, the learning is going to be so much fun. And then also once a month, we're also going to be holding you know, a gathering, a workshop, a play shop, whatever you want to call it, where I'm going to be asking, answering, I'm going to be asking lots of questions, but also answering lots of questions. You can uh, write them in and I'll also be holding topics once a month. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I look so forward to supporting you this way. Our sexual education, our menstrual education. This is also for men. If you're going, if you're a heterosexual man and you want to be having children with a woman, then you also need to understand the cycle of the feminine, which the medical world actually makes sure that they don't understand the menstrual cycle and the female pleasure pleasure anatomy because it is deemed unnecessary. This all, my space is also gets a little bit political. It's going to be very scientific, a little bit woo-woo, political, but very, very truthful. So welcome, lovers. I'm so happy you're here. And let's all move forward having better more exciting, juicier, nourishing and fulfilling sex because that is our birthright and that's what we all came here for. Lover, you have been inside of the Pleasure Studio where all things intimate are up for discussion. Thanks for getting real with me today and I hope you enjoyed this episode. If this conversation sparks something within you, do not hesitate to share it by emailing me via the link below. If you're not already, you can follow my good tush on the social media handles also below and make sure to hit subscribe. Tune in next time for more truths about pleasure and passion. Until then, stay bold, courageous and truthful as you explore your pleasure your way.